Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, Craig and I are celebrating our four year wedding anniversary. And in this vlog, we're gonna talk about the four things that we have learned in our four years together. Now, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also, leave a comment below. Definitely makes an impact. So if you like this channel, you like the content, then make that be known and subscribe to the channel today. Now, we're gonna be doing it a little bit different today, guys. We're gonna be showing you what we've covered in our weekend so far, as well as introduce you to those four things that we've learned in our four years together. Hey guys, Craig here. So my first thing that I've learned in our four years of marriage is definitely patience. I've learned to be patient, not just for my wife, but also for and with myself. I've come to realize that I need to take time to think through things before I act, before I respond. And patience is the best way I could summarize that. It's vital to have that patience. So my first thing that I've learned in these four years is grace. Um, I know it's something that we biblically know about, something that Christ um, has given to us. But I've learned that in your marriage, grace is so essential. Giving grace to the other person as well as giving grace to yourself, knowing that they're not going to get it right each time and that you're not going to get it right each time as well. But extending that grace um, to each other, I found that that is very um, important. It's also a powerful um, characteristic to utilize in your relationship. So give each other grace. The second thing I've learned is being able to communicate not how I would want, but how she could hear. I think earlier on in our marriage, our midway of the four years, she would always tell me, yeah, my intent behind what I want to communicate is there, but how I communicate is also just as important. And I came to realize that I want to be able to communicate how she hears. And that has really helped us in our communication level. And it's helped us understand each other a lot, lot better.
All right, guys, next thing that I've learned in these four years of marriage is something that the old folks always say at bridal showers, and I didn't understand it then, but I understand it now. And they would say, keep your right for peace, meaning that you don't always have to be right. It is okay sometimes to um, let go of trying to be right just for the sake of peace. Um, and if there's something that you're adamant that you need to let your spouse know that you're right about, give it some time, give it some time. As you see here, I was definitely not right for squirting that boba, right? But um, just give it some time, you know, maybe in the next few days or in a couple of weeks when tensions are lower, then you can come back to that situation and address it. But keep your right for peace. You don't always have to be right. So it's often said and heard, wives be submissive to your husbands. But if it's one thing that I've come to know as a fact, that I myself have to be submissive to the will of God. Um, in seeking him and in finding him, that's the only way I was able to lead and continue to lead uh, my family and realize the visions and the goals that I would have. Um, I first have to be submissive. And it's taught me so much about gentleness, kindness, love, tenderheartedness, everything that is necessary to nurture and take care of my wife, I first learned in my submission to Christ. Another thing that I've learned is selflessness, right? You cannot be selfish and be married. It doesn't work that way. Um, so definitely being selfless, you know, um, I know a lot of people think of it as compromise, but we're always evolving. We're always learning and adapting to the people, the relationships around us. And your marriage is the most important relationship to adapt and evolve to. And being selfless, letting go of self, letting go of your ambitions and truly becoming one with that person, understanding their goals, their ambitions, um, aligning it with what your future looks like as a couple. That takes a lot of selflessness, a lot of letting go of your pride, your ego, and the things you hold so dear to your heart. So definitely selflessness is something that I've learned more of and I know I'll continue to learn um, as we live our many years together. We ain't beefing. If there's one thing I've come to realize or something that my wife has pointed out is that as we had our contentious moments, our moments of disagreement, I would treat it like a beef. You know, I would treat it like she has something against me or I had something against her without realizing that just in that moment, that temporary moment, we just didn't see eye to eye. 
But after it and through it all, we still remain the same husband and wife. And in that moment, we still love and like each other, not carrying that heaviness of that moment forward is one thing or the fourth thing rather that I've learned in our four years of marriage. that I would say that I've learned is marriage is your primary ministry. Family is your primary ministry. Prior to marriage, I was so invested in so many other things and I didn't see how God honored family, that relationship and that bond that you have with your husband, the relationship and bond that you have with your parents the relationship and bond that you build for the generations ahead of you. And so as you guys see this time that we spent with our parents, we we set aside time this weekend with our family members, um, with my aunt who was celebrating a birthday, just because we've, I believe now more than before, we've grown to embrace and love our families even more than we, than we did before. Um, in these past four years, our family has come through for us in so many ways. They've loved on us. They've provided for us emotionally, financially, spiritually. And I embrace the family that I received through marriage. And I know that Craig embraces the family he received through marriage. And I am so elated that I was able to gain sisters, brothers, a bonus mother, a bonus father, but that my family was able to gain such a gift that is Craig Freeman. So I don't even know if this counts, but definitely wanted to sneak that in, that family is a priority and it is our number one ministry we have to make sure that we preserve our family especially as we continue to birth generations for the Lord. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that the four things that we've learned so far in marriage maybe touch your heart, maybe is a takeaway for you, maybe it's something that you can use to grow and embrace your relationship. And if you're aspiring to be in a relationship, this is also something that you can take with you. Um, Craig, any final thoughts for the people? Um, just continue to like, subscribe, and share. Definitely share. I believe this content is, as LA said, genuine and good. Yep. We definitely try to push out genuine and inspiring content, and we hope that you feel this was something along those lines. So bye, guys. See you later.